I've always had my best workouts, my best PRs. We're gonna make a lot of noise! Yo YouTube, what's up? We're back with another workout here at the Strength Camp Ranch. And last workout, I was building up towards my 300 pound stone. I told you that I wanna be able to lift that sucker. Today, we're gonna be working towards a 300 pound log. Now, when I say working towards, it doesn't mean that I'm warming up and gonna hit it today. It might take me several months or up to a year to do both of them, but we got time. Today, we're gonna start out, though, with a little bit of training for my dog. If you guys haven't noticed, I had my dog with me in the last video. His name's Remy, he's a Belgian Malinois. Some people say he's a John Wick dog. Well, going from being in the suburbs to being out in the country has given us a whole lot more space for him to roam and also more opportunity for him to run off. And so what we're gonna do before I get started with my workout today is I got a brand new uh, invisible fence that I put around the, around the house, right? Because I've got 42 acres here and the house is on about two acres. So I put an invisible fence, a little wire around the whole perimeter of the house um, I haven't trained him on it yet. Now what this fence is supposed to do is warn the dog before he gets towards that wire so that he's startled and then runs back into the, into the property. It can shock him, but the whole idea is so that he never gets to the point where it does shock him. He hears the beep and then runs back. So uh, he's a knucklehead also. So we might get to the point where when I, you know, after I'm training him, he might say, screw that beep and run through and you know, he'll get shot. Right, right Ram? He'll get corrected. When he gets corrected, my training, my coach, the dog training coach told me to tell him fooey. Fooey is the word that means stop that. And uh, so my son calls the fence the fooey fence. So we're gonna train on the fooey fence today. And so I'll take you through that and then we'll get into the workout. Easy, good boy. Good boy, Remy. All right. So get this on him. He's never worn anything like this before. He usually just wears the prong collar. So when we get out there, my job is to, when he hears the beep, I react and run away from it. And then he's gonna come after me and then I'm gonna give him a lot of praise. And then this is a process that I'll have to do over the course of the next six days, twice a day. Right, Ram? Good boy. Okay. So if you see that white, those white flags over there, that's where it is. So we're just gonna nonchalantly, just, we're just walking. We wanna acknowledge it. Woo! Let's go, Remy, let's go, let's go. Good go, good go. Hey, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Here. Now it's not like he'll jump, he could jump the fence. But I put it around the fence anyway. Okay. Let's go, Remy. Let's go, boy. Let's go, boy. Good boy. Good boy. Atta boy. I said, good boy. Atta boy. Alright. Let's try it one more place. Let's go, Remy. Let's go. Good go. Good boy. Atta boy. Yeah, he's a little scared. He's scared. I guess he's scared because I'm acting like I'm scared. And, and the camera guys are here. So he's like, this is making it even weirder. Good boy. Okay, let's go. So I've learned a lot with dog training. I hired, I got him from, the, from a breeder and he's, he's also our coach. And with Malinois, people say they have a lot of energy and they need to get out their energy, which is true to a degree. But my coach says, it's not that you have to have them exerting a lot of energy. What they really want is discipline. That requires energy. So for him to sit there right now, he's totally bored and he totally wants to get up and do something. But by having him sit there and follow my command by obeying, he's using a lot of energy to restrain himself. And that benefits the dog more than you know, having him run around and panting all over the place. I didn't know that, I learned that from our coach. 
something that reminds me of what life is like too, right? You think you gotta do a whole lot of stuff. I need to do a whole lot of things. I need to get out there and do it all. When really, no, you just need to be disciplined with the thing that you're doing. Right now, you're sitting. Just sit. <laughs> I'm gonna warm up my shoulders a little bit and we're gonna hit some heavy lockouts. So my heavy lift for today, every day I do this. Do a heavy lift, a bodybuilding lift, and a speed lift. And it's not necessarily the lift itself is a, is a power lifting or a bodybuilding lift. It's the parameters that I use. So my heavy lift, I'm going one to three reps, you know, as heavy as I can, obviously. With the bodybuilding lift, I'm doing eight to 12 reps. And then with the speed lift, I'm doing three to five, but very light, very quickly, working on technique. So, uh, and I might rotate them from time to time, but this week I'm starting with everything heavy. I want to just basically test myself out. So it's like an assessment week for me. So I'm going to set this up over here to be a heavy seated axle lockouts. For a walk. Where are you going, dude? We're back in, let's say, like 2015. I tore this bicep. We tore this one. And so it's made my right shoulder significantly more unstable. This is a pretty solid bench. When I moved into the house, uh, the guy left a lot of things that he just didn't want. Also, he was a contractor and a builder and he had a whole bunch of tractor tires out in the yard, out in the back, where we visited yesterday with the stones. I said, leave them, man. I can use that trash for training. That's where I come from, right? In fact, that right there, that's my oldest piece of gym equipment, that tire right there. And I found that was back in like, what, 2005, when I first started strength camp with no money and no equipment at all. And so I found that tire and I used it for my shunt cam. So we had people drag that forward, backward, sideways. We throw sandbags on it. And I kept it because I still use it. I don't have like a legit sled. Because why? When I could just throw a chain on that and use it. All right. Ha! Let's see if I get a single. pounds or 10 pounds 10 pounds so as I rotate my exercises and uh, parameters I'll probably not get back to this for another three weeks we'll see how that works out I'm following a new sort of routine which is undulating periodization you know, in the past, I really liked conjugate. I still like conjugate. But um, want, wanting to get stronger in, in more lifts than just a squat, deadlift, and bench press, and all of the athletic qualities that are associated with strongman, uh, I just wanted to try something different to see if I could bring up my odd object lifts along with my powerlifting lifts without, uh, without, with my strongman lifts without destroying my central nervous system and creating injury, which, I'm pretty good at. <laughs> See if I can get a single with just a little bit more here. We got one, 285. Not today. 
I'll take that. Zero on that one. All right, so next we're gonna hit this log here. I'm gonna do empty log, but I don't remember how much that log weighs, so I'm gonna go look. More than 130, but I know that's more than 130. It says more than 130, but how much more? Why don't we just call it 135, right? Because it's like a barbell with two plates. more primal picking something off the floor and put it over your head So I have this theory that the more noise I make, the louder my shout, the more powerful my move. I don't know if that's psychological or physiological, but I've always had my best workouts, my best PRs. When I make a lot of noise! When I shout! Ah! It just seems like more, more is conjured up. Think about like Bruce Lee, when he's whooping somebody's butt. There's a whole lot of weird noises. Why? There might be some power to that. Whoa! And I'll see you guys later. I hope you're enjoying the new series. Hope you're enjoying the Strength Camp Ranch comeback. So much more is on its way. Can't wait to invite you guys right here with me in rural Florida. We'll do it sometime, stay tuned, done.